All right, here we are with the electrical panel install. These are some of the components you're gonna need to put one of these on the pole. Of course, you need the panel right here. These, these are your straps to hold your pipe going up the pole to the top. This is your wire. It goes from the box to out the top of the pipe. The electric company splices on at the top from there. This EMT right here comes out the bottom of the box with your ground cable. I actually drove these ground rods into the dirt yesterday. And what they are is they're 5 8 diameter pipe. And they're 8 feet long. We drove those in with a 20 pound sledgehammer standing off the back of the tailgate of the truck because of the height of the pipe at eight feet above ground. The copper wire is clamped on. If you'll notice here, the clamp, actually this clamp right here I have to flip over or the wire has actually has to come in from the bottom of the clamp, not the top. So we have to adjust that. We have two ground rods, they're eight feet apart. I'm gonna cut a trench across here to the next ground rod over here and put the clamp. You notice the top of these ground rods are one foot below grade. And then as we come over here, we'll come up the pole through the EFT into the bottom of the box. Here's your overhead to inch. A two inch by 10 foot threaded on both sides will come off the top of the box. And what you want to do is have the top of that pipe where the wire exits uh, one foot below the top of the pole. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the tripod and start putting this together. All right. So what we did initially here is I tried to go use a, a ladder up the side of the pole, but it didn't seem too very stable. So we came up with a new idea, and that was to back it back in the truck, and I just stood off the rack because I have all that lumber on the rack, so it made a nice platform for me to stand on and actually strap that overhead to the pole. Right now I'm just digging the trench, intersecting the two ground rods. That's my father in the background there. He decided to come out with me because uh, he didn't have much to do. So he rode out here with me to uh, just go for the ride and uh, give me a hand on putting some of this stuff together. That's the two 5 8 inch diameter copper ground, 8 foot deep, foot below grade. So I basically drove them, you know, um, 9 feet. And I used a 20 pound sledge and it worked out really nicely. Worked great standing off the back of the tailgate. There's your hanger that hole there at the top that's what I'm how I'm gonna fasten it to the pole and then I'll also use this hole at the bottom so I have two mounts to the actual wood pole came with some labels to mark all your wiring diagram once you get your all your fuses in place and to the uh, house or wherever you're gonna go from there. I also have the, if you've seen the other videos prior to this about the um, underground going in and the retaining wall and stuff on this property development series, you I have a one inch that goes over to the well, so I have to pull wire through there as well from this location, which is about 200 feet away. I 
Now I've got the level, and that's a magnetic level, so that worked out really nicely on a metal box. Muscled it in there by God. Oh wait, yeah. So getting those wires in was tough. As you know, I've never did this before, but these wires are a thick gauge, and bending it around this corner was tough, um, but it can be done. You just have to kind of pre-bend them, and then feed it through that hub there. A few things I found out going through this process is that you'll want to have that pipe the right length before you go up there. In this case, it was um, that was just standard 10 foot length, and it was actually about a foot too long. So I had to pull the wire back out, uh, cut the pipe, and then I uh, went back up on the pole, and I realized oh, the wire's too long going to the box, too much excess to try to get around that socket. So I put, took it back down, cut some of the wire off, and you should get your wire length the length that you want before you even go up on top and your leads going into your box get that the exact measurement for the sockets it's going to plug into and then uh, also have it pre-stripped before you get down into the box and then it goes to you can, you can cut a lot of time like on my second time if i did this again i could probably do this whole thing in about two and a half hours in this case it took me about six hours There's your two hots going in the top, and then you got your neutral going over to the side. All right, here we are in the socket. There's where the uh, actual meter will go, plug into that socket there. Then what we have right here, see that yellow stripe? That's your neutral. There's your bus bar. My ground, which I still got to run, it's going to come up through the bottom and it's going to go right into one of these slots here. Uh, up here at the top, you got your two hots, both sides. This is a 200 amper. I got to put some more straps going up this pole. I've got one on there so far. I'll put a rope and a bungee cord just to temporarily hold it while I uh, lined up these wires in here and tighten it up. And then also I mount, put these four screws in at the top here. So what we have is one foot below the top of this pole. That's our stub out. We've got a two foot minimal excess wire hanging out the top there. We probably got about two and a half feet. And then you come down in here, it's all tied in. We got our one foot below grade, eight foot length, five inch copper ground rods, eight feet apart. And that's going to tie into the bottom of this panel. So right now I just have to uh, get up here, get up on this pole and put a couple more straps around that post. Alrighty, let me, let me get back set up. All right, so I'm going to back the truck back in here, get it close to that pole as I can, and I'll just stand on the lumber on top of the rack. That'll give me the height that I need to work that those straps in. And I'll have three straps on the pole. Now the direction of this meter and the wires coming out of the top are heading towards the power pole. Well, that's how it's done, I hope. I'll find out when the inspector gets out here and, or the electrical, whichever comes first, to actually do the tie-in. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, by the way, I wanted to let you know that uh, I have uh, $300 uh gift cards to give away Ariat is providing them and they have you know all the work wear they have cowboy stuff as well but they have some work boots work clothes and uh three people are gonna win so all you have to say is i want um the Ariat gift cards hundred dollar gift cards i want Ariat gift cards 
that's it. And you're entered into the contest. And then uh, Ariat will. I actually have the codes in hand, so I'll send you the code, whoever wins. Anyway, thanks. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.